really happy, obviously. Uh, great performance, um, a great day, um, incredible atmosphere to play in. So grateful to all the people that connects with the team in, in such a special way. And uh, I'm really happy because it's an opportunity to, to get a lot of people happy and proud. And uh, I think we have delivered that uh, to all of them. Do you think your team fully deserved to win the way you controlled the game? I think we deserve to win the game, yeah. Was there a moment in the, in the second half, first half, when Spurs had a, a good 10 minutes spell and gave the goal away? You're going to have those moments against the spreads and, and all the big teams. You have the feeling every time they connect with those front three, that's, that something can happen. And you have to live with that. Uh, but I don't think that we played at all with that in the back of our heads. And uh, that's where you could really feel the players from the beginning with the courage, the determination, the freedom and the, the energy to, to go for it. And this is what we demand them to do. Gary? Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Who gave the pre-match team talk? I did today. <laughs> no surprises this time. Then. No. And it worked, obviously. Could you see the passion in the players before they went out? Yeah. I could sense it straight away since the, the day that they came back from uh, internationals, they were ready and focused for it. Um, it's so meaningful. We know what uh, this is at stake on this game, and it goes a little bit further than just the three points. And, uh, and you have to play with um, with that passion and, and as well with that coolness in your head, and I think the players did it brilliantly today. What pleased you most uh, for the first goal? The Thomas Partey's finish or the 21 moves? That the moment that the ball was getting into the net and I could see who was going to the net, and then obviously the celebration. The 21 passes to, up to the goal. Great. But if we can score in one, I prefer. It's, it's, it's quicker, you are closer to the goal, and it's easier to do. It's a way of playing. We train it every single day. Uh, but I think as a team, that connection and that understanding of what we want to do, probably in that action, uh, is reflected in, in the right way. Uh, Mikhail, emotion is part of the dynamic of a football club. And the, the emotion here at the ground, the atmosphere, is better than I can remember it in quite a long time. Obviously, it's a special day. You can, you can top them in. Is that an important part of propelling you on from, from maybe the difficult few years that have come before this? Absolutely. I think I started in that dressing room when you get the right people and the right players and they start to connect with each other and that is taken to another level with all the members of the staff that are a huge part of the team and it doesn't matter what level, it can be at the highest level and that starts to get connected and you started to then deliver that into the pitch and start to transmit certain things on the pitch and then you connect the way we have done with our fans then becomes something really, really powerful and I think this is the biggest success that this group of players are, are having. And I guess the difficult bit is taking that through the winter when you've got a World Cup interrupt and you, it's, it's about keeping this momentum in January, February, March. I guess. It is, because in this league, the next match, or when we're going to play Europa League uh, in a few days here, it will be really tough. But, um, but we have that now, you know, and, and it's so powerful and meaningful for us. And then, obviously, now the next step is to go and do uh, many other things. But uh, we have to, first of all, have what we have. And uh, with that group of players and that connection, I think it's much easier that uh, something nice can happen. There was a lot of talk before the game about the fact that Arsenal had been a big 16 yet. Do you think the team needed that win today? 100% needed because when you play such a big game, you want to win, and uh, and that those opinions are are correct because when you look at the stats and and if you just put it in that context, is is you can do it. It's how you give and receive information. It does affect you, or not? Does a win like that against a bigger opponent send a message to maybe the other type of contenders this season? For me, the message is for the players and everybody here uh, that it's connected to the club that we are able to play at this level against this kind of opponents, and that should give them uh, confidence and, and belief. Michael, just away from the emotion, obviously, this is your vision for the way the team plays. Two very contrasting teams today. You've got the board to back you. They've spent money. It, it, this is a, a big sort of big, results like these are a big vindication for a manager as well of the way he sees the game. Yeah, but I don't see from our perspective, you know, what we are trying to do is this is for Arsenal Football Club and we already, because our history it tells us a certain way of playing and, and being and that's what we have to, to try to, to translate. What are certain beliefs actually into behaviours or, or habits and this is what we try to do. It's impressive how your team, when Spurs went to 10 men, sort of really went in for the kill. Is that kind of aspect 
like game intelligence and knowing the right moments to do things in the game is an improvement to me. Yes, because a lot of them are really young and they have to go through those emotions and to, and I to understand, okay, what the game demands right now. Sometimes it can be a little bit tricky, but I think uh, they were really intelligent and really mature the way they handled the situation and um, and they did what I think the game just demanded on, on the moment. A couple more, James. So you're, you're guaranteed to be top of the table for another weekend. How important is that for the confidence and the belief of the squad that they can look at that? It's great, obviously, looking at it and, and, and seeing the club uh, where it is positioned, it's, it's great. It gives you uh, a great feeling, obviously, um, but we are focused. It's a really hungry and humble team, believe me, and we know where we are. There's nothing that we have done yet, and there's still a lot of things to improve, and that's the direction that we are taking. Mark, you've now four points clear. I know the Man City are playing tomorrow, but nine games into the season, at what point do we start taking Arsenal seriously? I leave that to you guys, honestly. Um, we just start um, and we are really happy with where we are and, um, and understanding that you cannot control um, because emotion is, is related and the table says what it says, but, um, but it's not something that we look at, to be fair. That's the end of the live section. Just do a few for 10.30, get involved with tomorrow night.